Today I've been working on this bicuspid right here. I've been working on this thing for a couple hours. Originally there's a little sort of thing that's sticking out here on the bottom. You can't really tell, but right right in there is this thing. It's like calculus, and then I'm paranoid that it's his bone. So I'm approaching it from the front. I'm coming up, around, just breaking stuff off. I pretty much hit the jackpot here. This particular area has been difficult to get to. I've been working on this for at least three hours so far. I'm just getting to this blood. I'd like to get as much of the blood out as I could. This is a micro mini. This is a one two. This is as you know, good as any. I've used a couple of different ones. What I'm doing is just letting it kind of work its way up. See what happens when it gives up blood. It's usually a good idea just to keep going until it runs out of blood. One of the reasons I'm looking here on the camera is just so I can spot the blood. Because I've been doing this for a while and I'm hitting the jackpot. So I think what's going on here is there's like a little junior abscess. This whole thing is just abscess territory. So I'm trying to smooth the tooth. I decided I'm not going to worry about that little piece sticking out. What I'm doing here is destructive enough that whatever is here, it's good that it's going. And then generally what happens is when you get a good amount of this stuff done, then you're going to get some recovery. And then whatever's left is going to be more isolated. Also, if you get it clean, it's going to be smoother. So right now, what I'm trying to do is just work this thing backwards and then see if any blood wants to come out. You know, I'm also getting these little pieces too. See, there's just a little piece of crud. But if it's through the main blood phase, then, you know, that's good enough. Whatever it was, it was pretty decent. If this thing is just a little lonesome piece of calculus sitting somewhere and it gets more isolated, then it'll come in its own time. So I don't have to be that concerned. It's always good to be comprehensive. There, there's, see, that's fleeting. Okay, so what I can do then is just kind of pump it for blood. Okay, start off on the front. And then, see the blood, it's a form of irrigation. Some of it you can figure is going to be fresh blood. But other than that, these are little sort of areas of infection that somehow they got isolated and cut off. And now you're coming back and you're opening them up and you give them a chance to bleed and then they escape. And there's different ways to do it. Of course, there's also what you, what's a good thing to do and what you sort of want to do. Now you think about it, probably the smartest thing to do is just to hang out. Just try to move around the area. Don't be too concerned about exactly what you're getting. This figure is looting, then that's a good thing. Work the perimeter of, of what's there. Like right here, I'm sort of working my way back. Now, see, now if for some reason I, I it stopped the looting, then, then I'm just kind of moving it around for nothing. So at some point, you have to sort of check your work. In this case, I'm moving to the back. It could have stopped bleeding already. That's possible. Okay. Okay, so I got a decent amount of blood. I got some of these pieces too. See so now what I can do now, since I rinsed, I mean, one thing I could do is I could just go blast it with some water. But the other thing I can do is just go back with the tool again and then start it up again or less repeat the process. And then See if it starts to bleed again. Presumably what I'm doing is there's a periphery of some type here where I was isolated. And I was aware of that because I'd, I'd gotten the front, the back, 
the inside, and then this outside portion was the one area where I didn't get that much, where I felt that I was sort of cut off. It's easy to chalk it up to, to saying, well, it's just too difficult for some reason. But usually the reason it's difficult is because there's calculus that's in the way. So now, you know, I spent a few hours cleaning the calculus out of the way, and then whatever's underneath it, that area becomes exposed. So it's a good idea for me to take advantage of it. Next time, that area will be easier to get to. It will close up again, but I can repeat the process to get to that area at the appropriate time. I don't have to worry about this piece of calculus either. You know, if it doesn't want to come off, it just doesn't want to come off. But certainly it's more isolated now. So here, let's, uh, let's just call that for what it was. And just take a look. It's, you can't really see too much, really. There's not that much to see. Maybe 10 or 15 little pieces in there. And then I've been doing this over the course of a couple hours. So, you know, I've done this 10 or 15 times already. So all that stuff's starting to add up. And then it was negative on this area. And I sort of felt this negativity in there anyway. So I said, I really got to get to this thing. There definitely should be some recovery and some healthiness that comes back. I can do it again and just keep repeating the process. You know, two weeks or so is probably soon enough.